Question 16, Part B. A geometric series has first term A and limiting sum 2. Find all possible values for A. I'm going to present two different ways of solving this problem. Let's have a look at the first way. Starting with the limiting sum formula, that is the limiting sum is equal to A over 1 minus R, where A is the first term of the geometric series and R is the common ratio. We're given that the limiting sum is equal to 2. So 2 is equal to A over 1 minus R. And because it's a limiting sum, the value of the common ratio R must be a value between negative 1 and positive 1, not including the endpoints. Another way we could write that is the absolute value of R must be less than 1. So what I'm going to do is to rearrange this equation and isolate the A. In other words, make A the subject. So I'm going to multiply the 2 by 1 minus R. We get 2 minus 2R is equal to A making A the subject on the left-hand side of the equation, we get A is equal to 2 minus 2R. Now consider what happens when R approaches negative 1 and when R approaches positive 1. So when R approaches negative 1, A approaches 2 minus 2 times negative 1. Now 2 minus 2 times negative 1 is 2 minus minus 2, which equals 4. So as R approaches negative 1, A approaches 4. Now as R approaches positive 1, A approaches 2 minus 2 times 1. Now 2 minus 2 times 1 is equal to 0, which means A approaches 0. Therefore, possible values for A are A greater than 0 and less than 4. Let's have a look at the alternative way of solving this problem. Now very similar to the first way of solving the problem, what I'm going to do though this time is I'm going to isolate the R rather than isolating the A. So let's start off with 2 minus 2R equals A. I'm going to isolate the R, so negative 2R is equal to A minus 2. So I move this 2 over to the other side, it becomes a negative. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1, we get 2R is equal to 2 minus A. And then dividing both sides by 2, we get R is equal to half times 2 minus A in brackets. And again, just like the previous solution, we know that R is a value between negative 1 and 1. So we can solve this as a three-way inequality, and we can set this up here. Hence, rather than writing R in the middle of this three-way inequality, I could write half times 2 minus A in brackets. So we have half outside of 2 minus A in brackets is greater than negative 1 and less than 1. Now we can isolate the A, so multiplying all terms by 2, we get 2 minus a greater than negative 2 and less than 2. Then we can subtract 2 from both sides and we get negative 4 here, negative a here and 0 here. So negative a is greater than negative 4 and less than 0. And then multiplying all terms by negative 1, now we have to flip the inequality signs, we get a is less than 4 and greater than 0, but to write it correctly, we write it this way. A is greater than 0 and less than 4. 